At the top tonight, U.S. Senator John Cornyn paying a visit to the basin this evening to talk about local initiatives to address mental health for children. Good evening, I'm Eddie Flores. And I'm Katie Orth. Big Two's Felice Romero was at that round table tonight. She joins us now live in the control room with the latest. Felice? Good evening, Eddie and Katie. There certainly was a lot on the agenda tonight, from holistic ways to address mental health to local programs that have been instilled since the recent Texas mass shootings. We had the chance to sit down with Senator Cornyn. Here's what he had to say. Members of the community came together Monday to discuss mental health programs for children. In many instances, people are already showing that they are in a crisis or that they could be a threat to themselves and others. Following the Odessa Midland shooting, Texas Tech, Midland Memorial Hospital, ECISD, and Midland Development Corporation are creating programs to address mental health. So finding a way to channel that information to somebody who can help them and hopefully prevent them from uh, uh, getting sicker and becoming more dangerous is, uh, is part of the goal. U.S. Senator John Cornyn hearing out agencies as they brainstorm solutions ranging from early childhood intervention to nutritional programs. All agreeing on one thing, it's going to take a village to address the issue. Talking to the school teachers and uh, parents and others who are in the best position to identify uh, a child who perhaps or an adult who is in crisis. You're an adult. Um, unless you are involuntarily committed uh, to a mental health facility for 72 hours or so, uh, you're going to get out, and if you're not going to comply with your doctor's orders, take your medications and the like, there are very few things that uh, can be done. When asked about adding background checks for private sales, he says it has been discussed. The things we're looking at is, uh, is whether people who are selling, who are unlicensed firearms dealers ought to be required uh, like most gun sellers, to become a federally licensed firearms dealer, which means by definition they will perform background checks. But we're talking about people who are in the business of selling firearms like this, uh, like this individual was in, uh, uh, in Amarillo, who was uh, making and selling these uh, uh, semi-automatic weapons that this individual bought. U.S. Senator Cornyn hopes discussions like this will help guide lawmakers as they respond to mass shootings and the mental health crisis. Live in the control room, Feliz Romero, Big Two News.